Gas prices have some people resorting to stealing gas. Look at this surveillance video. The gas station caught someone stealing 400 gallons of gas on camera. The total coming in at about $1,600 worth of fuel. That's a lot. Oh yeah, the gas station's owner says the suspects were there for about 45 minutes, pumping out gas to more than a dozen cars. WFMY News 2's Jenna Kurzina found out how it happened. After the Busy Bee Grocery closed Monday evening, surveillance video captured someone doing something to the gas pumps and then more than a dozen cars coming by to fill up. The owner says 400 gallons of gas were stolen, which is around $1,600 worth of fuel. I never thought I heard some stories, but I never thought it could be me. In less than an hour. It would just bypass the pump and they'd get about close to 400 gallons of gas out. Busy Bee Grocery owner. Hardik Patel says a little after 11 Monday night, he got a call from the High Point Police. His cameras captured this. You see two cars pull up to the pumps. One person gets out to do something to the pump and then get gas. In minutes, car after car stops by the gas station to get fuel. Eventually, police arrived and everyone clears out. Police department said there's someone called, which is, could be my customer that drove by at that time and they saw that those many cars and usually there's no car around that time. Someone did call 911 to let police know something was going on there. They was using some type of machine to hack the gas pump. Patel says a technician came out to reset the pumps. He gave him a tool similar to what they think might have been used. So I have it, so if it ever happened again, I can at least go back to my normal operation. Ron Pierce, a cybersecurity expert, says essentially any device that takes credit cards has a computer in it and can be reprogrammed. Whoever this was, uh, they they knew something about those gas pumps. They knew either how to go in and program or reset back to factory, but they knew a way to basically tell it, forget what you know and do what I tell you to do. Patel says he will now shut his pumps off when they close. It's pretty frustrating because the gas price has been high and I just got to be be more precaution from now on. High Point police are still investigating. The owner says he is thankful someone driving by called it in because the situation could have been worse. In High Point, Jenna Corzina, WFMY News 2.